thank you for tuning in to Mirror Now this morning. Our top focus. Well, North India is chilling quite literally at 3.5 degrees Celsius. Delhi recorded its season's lowest temperature. The weather department has predicted that dense to very dense conditions are expected to continue till Tuesday. Now, due to the dense fog, 101 Delhi-bound flights are delayed, while 38 departure flights and 45 arrival flights have been cancelled. Meanwhile, 18 Delhi-bound trains are delayed. On the other hand, the schools in the national capital are set to reopen from today. The schools scheduled to begin from 9 a.m. Now, also, schools have been advised to not hold classes beyond 5 p.m. Now, on the other hand, schools in Chandigarh, Punjab and Noida have extended their winter break. Punjab schools up to classes 5 would remain closed till 21 January and in Chandigarh, the schools will remain shut till January 20th up to classes 8, while in Noida, the schools will remain closed till 16 January up to standard 8. Now, meanwhile, the Delhi airport has advised passengers to contact the airlines before travelling amid the dense fog conditions. But pollution is also a troublemaker for Delhiites. Grab stage 3 restrictions have been reimposed in the national capital. ठंड काफी है कोहरा है हां कोहरा भी है आज भाई साहब हद से ज्यादा कोहरा है सामने बिल्कुल भी कुछ भी दिखाई नहीं दे रहा अभी मैं भी बाइक से आया हूं ये सोच लो 15 मिनट का रास्ता पौन घंटे में आया हूं सामने बिल्कुल भी कुछ भी दिखाई नहीं दे रहा कौन सा रोड क्या जा रहा है कौन सा वाहन आ रहा है कुछ दिखाई नहीं दे रहा है अभी हाथ कांप रहा है चाय भी हिल रही है देखिए इतनी ज्यादा ठंड है और कोहरे के मारे कुछ दिखाई नहीं दे रहा सामने क्या चल रहा है क्या आ रहा है सर क्या स्थिति तो आपके सामने है बड़ी ही सर्द है और कोहरा बिल्कुल जितना ज्यादा है कि हम लोगों को सामने कुछ दिखाई नहीं देता हत्या की इंजीनियर सारे हम जला के आते हैं पार्किंग का ताकि आप पीछे वाली गाड़ी आगे वाली गाड़ी से महसूस हो सके कुछ जा रहा है और आगे हमें कुछ दिखाई नहीं देता बहुत करीब से कुछ बिल्कुल नहीं दिखाई देता है बस हम किसी तरीके से 10 या 15 की स्पीड में धीरे-धीरे करके अपनी गाड़ी को लाए हैं राजधानी दिल्ली सहित पूरे उत्तर भारत के अंदर हार ठिठुराने वाली सर्दी और कोहरे का सदम आज भी जारी है अगर तस्वीरों में आप देख पाएंगे तो कितना ज्यादा कोहरा है ये आप समझ पाएंगे कोहरे की एक बड़ी चादर आपको यहां पे नजर आएगी इस वक्त डीएनडी पे हम खड़े हैं दिल्ली को नोएडा से जोड़ने वाली ये सड़क है और यहां अगर आप देख पाएंगे तो गाड़ियां जो है वो कोहरे की चादर से निकल के सामने आ रही हैं अभी गाड़ियों के हेडलाइट्स आपको जले हुए नजर आएंगे पार्किंग लाइट्स से गाड़ियां जो है वो जला के आ रही है ताकि किसी भी तरीके से कोलिजन से बचा जा सके कोहरे के कारण कई सारे एक्सीडेंट्स भी देखने को मिले हैं इसके अलावा अगर तापमान की बात करें तो तापमान जो है वो दिल्ली का वो पांच डिग्री सेल्सियस रहने वाला है वही अधिकतम तापमान जो है वो बताया जा रहा है कि लगभग पंद्रह डिग्री सेल्सियस रहेगा ऐसे में जब इतना ज्यादा कोहरा है इतनी ज्यादा परेशानियां हैं तो लोगों बहुत सावधानी के साथ जो है वो आगे की अपनी जो यात्रा है उसको प्लान कर रहे हैं इसके अलावा आज से दिल्ली के स्कूल जो है वो खुलने वाले हैं नौ बजे से उनकी टाइमिंग रखी गई है कोहरे को देखते हुए तो स्कूल वाले बच्चों को भी दिक्कत का सामना जो है वो करना पड़ सकता है इसके अलावा ठंड बहुत ज्यादा है कोहरा बहुत ज्यादा है तो अगर आप घर से निकल रहे हैं तो सावधानी से निकलिए मास्क और जो मफलर है टोपी है लगा के निकलिए सर्दी बहुत ज्यादा है अपना और अपनों का ख्याल रखिए सुरक्षित रहिए Right, my colleague Isha is joining us live from Motibag in Delhi. Isha, well, uh, what we saw was uh, a 3.5 degree Celsius with Delhi recording its uh, season's uh, lowest temperature. Well, also what we know that there have been multiple flights, multiple trains that have been delayed or cancelled. What has been the impact of this? Quite correct, Riyanka. I think you've summed it up entirely about how the cold wave have, has been impacting the national capital. In fact, 
the temperatures have gone down to about 3.5 degrees Celsius, making it extremely cold and chilly for the Delhiites here. In fact, fog has also engulfed the national capital. And in fact, not just fog, uh, the air quality has also been very poor and severe in some zones. So now, as you had rightly pointed out, Grab 3 has also been imposed which has banned construction work in several vehicles to which apply on the road. I'm currently showing you around the visuals visibility is again extremely poor and from on that side we're not able to see the traffic coming in clearly. However, visibility is better than what it was uh, in the last couple of days. An orange alert has been sounded uh, by the IMD for the weather uh, related uh, for for, uh, for the national capital. And in fact, it is being stated that no respite will be there till the 20th of January. So that means five more days still Delhi has to suffer. But reading from uh, the data that is coming from the flight tracker, tracker app, it's suggesting that uh, the Indira Gandhi International Airport, which is one of the largest airports in the country, in fact, in Delhi also, it's the biggest airport, it has seen an average delay of 50 minutes today and about 101 flights have been can uh, delayed and 38 have been uh, cancelled in terms of departures. The disruption index is 4.4 today. Since, since the last uh, 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 since the last eight hours. In fact, for arrivals also, 61 flights have been delayed and 45 have been cancelled and the disruption index is slightly higher at 4.8. So, uh, the flights are also being delayed. In fact, yesterday also more than 500 flights were delayed across arrival and departures and we saw that uh, several people were stranded on the airport. They were, uh, they were struggling because their flights were continuously getting cancelled and uh, this is a time where the air traffic is also up considering a lot of travel is taking place to Ayodhya and other other surrounding areas as well. So yes, right. uh, the national capital has strangulated completely under this fog and also the common people are struggling back to you. All right, uh, Isha, appreciate you joining us and giving us all the details there from the ground. So as we could uh, see from the situation that fog continues to prevail, causing disruption in terms of the flights and the trains that have been facing delays, causing problems for people who are wanting to travel. We will be tracking in more details on the temperature in North India, but now shifting focus to more news coming in. The Haveri horror victim awaits justice, but meanwhile, politics has emerged over the incident. The opposition BJP is in Karnataka has alleged that the attempts have been made to hush up the moral policing shocker by Haveri by uh, offering money to the victim by the ruling Congress government. Now, former Karnataka Chief Minister Basavaraj Bumai charged the government of taking the victim to Sirsi after the local police received input about the visit of BJP's women delegation to Haveri. Now, the State Minority Commission has also urged the Karnataka government to bring the victim back to Haveri for rehabilitation and provide her with round-the-clock security at the hospital. Now, Chief Minister Sidramaya is set to visit Haveri today to meet the victim. The January 8 incident, in which the police have charged the accused with gang rape, pertains to a group of men barging into a hotel room in Karnataka's Averi district and thrashing a couple for being together despite their different faiths. <laughs> Complaint into one on Tatukuda, Varanga. I can on SIT Marie and tell the local police road Muchakare Mukimutrigalu Kanista Hameric Bandaga, Maniriksha Martini, or SIT announced Martin with an eruption of Martin. 